What is up everyone, Gunpla Collection here, and today I'm doing a review on the Horror Club Piggy Haro. Now this kit is actually an exclusive kit, and it is absolutely stunning. As you can see, it is uh, almost the gold-plated, but not really gold-plated. It's... I don't know really what to call it in gold coating, I guess, but it looks really cool. The fact that Bandai incorporated the Momo Haro into a pig. Now that is absolutely stunning. Now this kit is pretty simple of a build, it doesn't take too long. All you need to do is have gold Gundam marker to hide the nub marks and then you just build it right away. You put the stickers on, done. But other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at this kit itself and look at the pros and cons. Alright, so to start off with the pros, it looks really beautiful and it's really sturdy as well. So there's not a, any parts that fall off and everything like that. The cons, however, is that the nub marks are visible if you don't cover them. So, as you can see, there is a nub mark right there that is covered by gold Gundam marker. And you'll see the same here as well as the other side as right there. So, if you don't cover it, you'll get that nasty looking nub mark that is a black color. So, other than that, let's move on to some real interesting stuff. So you have some articulation here on the ears on both sides, so they flop up and down, they swivel around. <clears throat> but most of the time you just want to keep them in a position like this where the ear is down. Other than that, you have a flap that opens like this, but it stays down. Right here is the foot part where you can pop it up, but it's best not to as there's no point because it's a pig, not really supposed to have feet for like the Haro and everything. Uh, the stickers are actually quite annoying. Um, the fact that they don't fully adhere on correctly. You have some areas that will crease on you, some that won't stick on properly. Like right here, you can see that. Um, and it's just very few stickers overall, so that's pretty cool. Other than that, you get a nice base. Unfortunately, it's in like the injection color, so you have the injection issues here. And at the bottom is basically where you can store all the hands and joint parts here, so that's really cool. Unfortunately, these are not used, so they're stored constantly at the bottom. But if you do choose to, you can use them. Alright, so overall, I give this kit a 10 out of 10. Reason being is because of its beauty. I mean, if you put this on a shelf, it will stand out. I mean, yes, it's small, but the gold is what makes it pop and stand out. Now, this kit, you can actually get it at NewTypeHQ.com as they actually have it for, I believe, $35 if I'm correct. But if you are looking for it, go ahead and go to NewTypeHQ.com and get the kit while you still can as supplies are very limited due to the fact that this is a limited kit. Alright, so other than that, thank you guys for watching this really quick review of Aharo, which should be quick. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you on the other side.